What was the meaning? What did you think? Was you ever surprised outside? What? Did you just call yourself? Say, I don't want to hear that again. I don't want to hear that simple name anymore. I am tired. I am tired. I say I am tired. You're tired of what? I may ask. You're tired of. I am tired of you. I am tired of this marriage. I am tired of everything. The best thing for you now is to pack your things and leave this house and allow me to think. Travel to your village, you will come back a different person. It's always from one problem to another. Ah, uh -uh. what is it? Anyway, that one is not the only business at all. Chris, wait a minute. Did you just call I and my people troublemakers, or what? No, my name is not. Hmm. Don't twist my words, please. Uh -uh. Oh, oh, you now have the gods to open your mouth. To call me and my people troublemakers. It's okay, no problem. But by the time I go in there and come out and see the likes of you in this house or in any of these rooms, I will show you how to do it. No, 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 no. I didn't say anything. I'll show you how to do it as the I'm coming. What did I say? I just said that if you travel to your village, if you come back, did I say anything? What is all this? I did not call them troublemakers. If I say one thing, you not twist it. Hold this. He's not twisting my words. I didn't say anything. Hmm, did I say something? For more thing, I don't know. This marriage, I'm even tired, eh? For more problem to another. He's not saying one I didn't say now. Even for this. You can say anything. What is this?
okay. Stop crying. It's okay. Must you be pouring out this tears? Yes? Lizzie, you won't understand. I don't know what to do again. Hey? Of all my friends, I'm the only person that is having marital problem. Why is my own different? Why? What happened this time? I don't know. Each time my husband travels to the village and comes back, he's always from one problem to another. I don't know what his family are telling him. I don't know. Especially his mother and his sister. Okay, he came back today. And the next thing is that, that I should pack my things and leave the house. Are you serious? I'm telling you. I have told you, Sarah. I have told you to give your life to Christ. But you won't believe me. He's the only one that can heal this wound. He's the only one. Look at the woman with the issue of blood. She oh, just touching of Jesus coming. She was healed. If, if giving my life to Christ will solve all my problems, then it will solve. Why not? It will solve the problem. Look at the blind Bartimaeus. Just that he heard that Jesus is passing by. He was shouting, Jesus, the son of David, have mercy on me. And the Bible made us to understand that immediately Jesus touched him. He was healed. He re his sight was restored. Give your life to him. I will. I will. Salvation is for free. Just lay your problems to him, okay? Stop crying. Thank you it's so okay. much. Thank you. Stop crying. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. We do pro prayers every Wednesday. Okay. You have to be coming. Just to be praying. Go and answer your prayer. I will. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, please. And there is one more thing I want to tell you. Mm -hmm. Whenever he's angry, don't talk. Whenever he's shouted on you, don't say a word. Just go inside. Lie down on your bed. It's okay. Thank it's okay. you. Thank you so much. It's okay. I'm vibrant. What is my problem? Oh, Jesus. What is my sin?
what is the problem? Why did you leave the house like that? And where are you coming from? This is your business where I went to. You're not watching my movement. Hmm? Are you not watching your movement? What is your business? Hmm? I thought I should do with this house. Hmm? Hey. I should leave the house for who? For my next wife. She will soon be here. And don't say I did not tell you. Hmm? Just look at the way you're talking to me. See what you're saying. You just open your mouth and you say anything that comes out of it. And you don't even know you're hurting my feelings. Remember how we started? Remember everything we've been through together? But if you've decided that I should leave this house and it's going to make you happy, then I will leave. But remember, God is watching you. Let him watch. Let him watch. Hmm? I say let him watch now. Yeah? Are, you, are, you, are you not aware that God is watching when you call me a troublemaker? Including my people. I did not call you a troublemaker. I did not call your people troublemakers. Even if I did, I'm sorry. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. The best thing for you to do now is leave and do that driving. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm.
I really hate them. All they are after is confusing you, confusing you, confusing you. And at the end, it's either you're paying your tight well, or you are sowing seed with a very fat envelope. That is why I hate them. I don't like them. I hate them. Chico, you just you ended up confusing me before. I'm desperate. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. My husband is on my neck like this. I'm so confused. Christy, there are many ways to kill your rats. Is it that you poison them? Or you pour hot water on them? If you don't pour hot water on them, you smash them. If you don't do that, you buy a pussy cat. And the pussy cat will help you and kill them. There are so many ways to kill a rat. You know, you have been running away from me. And that is why you're finding things difficult. Trust me, like I always tell you, I have the keys.
So whatever I ask him to do, he must surely do. You have no place in his house anymore. You have no place in this house anymore. We are tired of you. Go! I need a woman that her womb carries fire. A woman that is capable on bed and her womb is capable to collect and receive. That is what I want. So go! I don't need you anymore. That's the no. kind of wife I need. No. My son's wife will not leave his house. Eh? You, she will not leave. I told you and your daughter to leave this woman alone. Leave Samuel and, and her, his wife to enjoy their life. Is it not barely five years they got married and you are giving them headache? Papa, did you call it barely five years? Ask him. Barely five years. Okay. What I know is that she must leave my brother's house. Hmm. Ask the who? I expected you to understand as a woman. Look at what you say. No problem. One day you're going to get a man. You know what the problem is. You know what the problem is. So if you're not ready to solve it, there's no need answering a wife. Hey! Caroline, you have suffered. You have suffered! Five whole years are gone, and days are still counting. Yet no signal. Nothing like pregnancy, nothing like childbearing in this house. Hey, I won't take it though. I won't take it. This woman here is an empty container. You are nothing but empty containers. You content nothing. Go! I need a woman that has content. Let her come. Get out of my house. A woman with content is what I want. A woman that will fill up this place. Ah, ah, go! Uh, Christy, ah. do, not, do not worry yourself. Samuel is also my son. He loves me, he listens to me. I don't want this, this disturbance and the, this unity you people are bringing into this marriage. Not why I'm alive. Christy, go back to your husband. But be aware that your husband is under the influence of this too. Just be aware of that. Use your talk to calm down. You are the problem. You are the problem of yourself and the problem of this family. You better go back to your father's house. Go! We don't need you. You are the problem of yourself. Chrissy, you are the problem of yourself. Don't you know what is my sin? Don't you know what is my sin? Don't you know what is my sin? Hey, hey, see, let me tell you, if you won't sleep with my father, it's none of my business. My decision is final. And listen, very soon, my wife will come back from abroad where she's based. Do you understand? So if you're staying here to your own detriment, it's none of my business. It doesn't concern me. But very soon, you'll see what you do to yourself. Don't allow your mother and your sister to cause problem in this marriage. Because this marriage is still very young. Yes. And why can't you listen to the words of your father? Young marriage, my foot. You hear me? Baby, oh. you don't want to eat. Sounds good. Should I tell you? 
leave my house. Listen, son. The Bible says that once a man is joined with a woman, they have become one. No talk about it. Meaning that whatever they are discussing or whatever they are doing should be between them. Why are you insulting your wife, your legally married wife before your mother and sister? Eh? When you should be protecting her. Is it fair? See, I'm, I'm listening. This is one thing I hate about you. How can you be giving me such an advice? What is wrong with you? How can I abandon my mother who gave back to me? How can I abandon my mother who sold all she had to see that I go to school? How can I abandon my mother who trained me and my sister when my father had told the way he was working? Andrew, stop saying that. You see, that's, that's, that's the misconception. You got it all wrong. You got it all wrong. I can't possibly ask you to abandon your mother. No. All I'm saying is that you should also protect your wife. She's your wife for crying out loud. I want you to understand that that woman is just a small girl. And by the special grace of God, she has all the years in the world to live her life and become whatever it is God wants her to become. I don't like it. I've said my own. Do you know that this is the 50th of this marriage? Even if it's the 10th year, are you God? Or is someone a God? Somewhere, what happened to your conscience? Now listen to me, Mr. Man. You have to love your wife. You have to cherish her. You have to protect her. And more especially, you need to give your life to Christ. Yes, if you have to give your life to Christ and accept Him as your personal Lord and Savior, allow Him into your family and He will perfect all that concerns you. Do you understand? I mean, it's just, it's just patience. That's what I'm saying. Samuel, I have gone as you've always wanted. There is no longer peace 
in this marriage and I know you're happy now. Your mother and your sister didn't do anything to me, but you failed to protect your wife and that gave them the chance to come in between us. It's true, you are an only son. So, I don't know why your mother is in such a hurry for me to have children for you. If you marry another woman, please protect her. Thanks for everything. Christy. He not the one that asked her to leave. Is it right? She's gone. So the next thing now is to ask your mother to get your wife. Right? Don't talk like that, my dear. Someone is your cousin. You should speak to him the way you understand. Maybe you, you tell me how to talk to him. Tell me. What method have I not applied? What have I not told someone? Eh? A young marriage at that. I've told him to use mine as an example. We've been married for close to 10 years now. Yet we are still believing God and hoping that one day His will will come to pass. Yet someone will be patient. Just five years. Barely five years. What will I say again? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What do I do? Uh, have you called her line? No, no, her line is coming. Okay. Don't worry. Everything will be alright. See what I'll see what I can do. Just calm down. She's gone! So go get another wife! I hope you didn't take any of it. 
No, I did not. I only left with my personal stuff. Let us see if he's going to call. I need my Well, I'm not sure that is possible. Because I turned my phone off since I left. Christy, you don't have to do that. Why would you turn your phone off because of it? You might have some other people that want to call you. Turn it off, please. Don't check his calls. Turn it off. You see, somebody is calling, somebody take the call. Hello? Christy. Christy, where are you? Sammy, you have nothing to worry about. My wife will talk to her later. Okay? But please, if she ever comes back to that house, I want you to be a man. Mm -hmm. I want you to believe in God. God is not done with his work in your life. Please. I just want you to believe it. A supreme being that watches over us all. Yes. Jesus said in the book of Matthew 19, verse 14. Let the children come unto me. For the kingdom of God is the earth. Just be patient. God must surely see you true. Mm -hmm. Amen. That is true. Hmm? The goodness of God will surely come to your family. Do not doubt the promises of God. At all. At all. I will still call Christy. And all will be well. I will talk to her. Okay? Everything will be alright. Just be strong. Yes. It's okay. Don't. Anyways. 
I'm not going back to Paris. Never. No. Yes. I want to use that word. So, Christian, someone is your wedded husband. You took a vow together before the altar of God. Do not allow the devil to step in and take over your home. Someone was here. Yes, he was here to complain that you left your house. If he does not want you, he won't even bother. Don't you get it? This is what I have been saying. I have been telling you to calm down and follow the word of God in everything you do. Look at me. Christy, look at me. I don't have a child yet. But I am still living with my husband. And I know that in time, God will provide a pregnancy. I will have children. My house will be filled with children. That is my faith. Wow. What a faith. That is one of the promises of God. As far as Sarah gave birth at the age of 94, mm. there is nothing, nothing impossible for God to do. Just his wills. Follow his words. Have faith in him. Love your neighbors. But most importantly, you listen to me. Love children. Buy them gifts. Celebrate them. If you do this, God will surely bless you with you. Okay? One more important thing. You have to forgive your mother in law. Yes, you must forgive her. She does not know what she's doing. Yes. You know, we Africans, uh, you know, our culture, our mean, our way of life. And someone is your mother in law's only son. You understand me? Yeah. Most times the father in laws are not your concern. What kind of they are so concerned about the children? Yes. And you understand that male children are closer to their mother. So you just have to take it just for the her. Okay? That's okay. Thank you so much. House with your fellow man, calling her a wife. Oh. Eh? Look, let me tell you the truth. Most of all these young women you see everywhere, they are possessed. Some of them are witches. Some are possessed by uh, 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 marine spirits. Some have a spiritual friend, some spiritual husband. They have born all the children they will give to men in, in the physical world. They have born all of them in the spiritual world. It is only the people that have spiritual eyes that sees all these things. I'm telling you the truth. And I am sure that Chrissy, your wife, is one of the above. Because it is all over her. Look at her eyes, it is all over her. So I advise you to lock up every man, lock up your house, so that she will not have any access to it again. That is my advice. Let her go. Ah. Leave her let her I personally go around this whole community and get you a very pretty young lady. Have you read? Not all these ones parading themselves with 50 to 55 years. Huh? A young blood that will catch. Watch. Ah, uh, 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 shut your mouth. You and the Christian, who is older? 
You should check yourself. Check yourself and know whether you are a belong to the category your mother just counted. Just check yourself. You, you should be thinking about how to get married, have your own house, have your own children, and all that. The Christian. Somewhere here is her husband. Your mother is married. I am the husband, Juliet. Where is your own husband? Eh? Where? Papa, Papa, I don't like the way you talk to me. I don't like the way you talk to me in this house. Does it mean I don't have right to contribute to issues concerning my brother again? Eh, eh. You don't have any right. No miserable right to contribute to anything in this house. It is when you go to your husband's house, you cannot contribute whatever you want. Don't come here to create confusion. Papa, it's okay. Mm. It's okay. Mm. Uh, what I'm saying is that let's give uh, Chrissy a chance and watch her to see if she can conceive. Mm -mm. No, not just let's give her a little time. That statement is wrong. Eh? Let us wait for God's time and God's blessing. Every good thing comes from God. No, 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 just give her time. Then if uh, after the time you give and the mother, she it doesn't come, she will throw her away as your mother suggested. Eh? Bam. So, Samuel, what you're saying now is that you won't have to go. Eh? She is my wife. Hmm? She's my wife. What do you expect me to do? Okay, look at Uncle Sam and his wife. They've not given birth to any child, yet they are living in peace. Mm -hmm. Which Uncle are you talking about? Eh? What's the That castrated dog? Eh? Look, let me tell you. Your case and their case is not the same. This is simply the truth. Your case is different from theirs. Mama, how? Good. Uncle has another four brothers. And those four brothers have given birth to sons and daughters. Their house is full of children already. So you cannot compare yourself with them. I'm telling you, you are my only child. I need my grandchildren. I need my grandchildren somewhere. You better open your eyes and see what I'm seeing. You better understand me. Understand my plight. Huh? It seems that Andrews are just that church preaching. I twisted my brother's boots. For how many years since they have been going to that your church? Yet no sign or wonder. You won't be part of that. Come on, come on. Are you mad? You are talking, you are talking. Are you stupid? Come here, I'm talking to your brother. They are women. Let them go in this side. That is how they go about creating problems. So, this, if you are not careful, they will put you in the door. I will advise you to listen to yourself. Listen to your heartbeat as yourself. Christy, has she offended you? Is she not a good wife? Is she not a good woman? Does she not? These are the things as you say. Uh, yes. Uh, then, if you are the mother, despite the fact that she has not produced baby, uh, as you say, has Christy done anything wrong to me? She has not offended me in any way. Not at all. Hey, why do you listen to your mother? She is talking. Huh? Yeah, I'm not saying that you should not listen to her. But while she is talking, just pick the best out of what she is saying and throw the rest into the dustbin. Be in control of yourself. Be a king of yourself. Be a man in your heart. Do not allow external body, external persons. To control your household. External? Yes. 
Who are they standing for? You are mother. You are sister. Even myself. Let everybody mind his or her business. Uh, so, uh, um, I'm not saying that uh, we are mother will no more be a mother we are sister. We are good sister will not be a sister. I is true that they are trying to save you from parenthood. But they are doing it the wrong way. Hmm? No. Be the wise man in your house. I don't know what to do. Actually, I'm in one Please. No, no, no. You have to tell me. Stop. Please. 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 Please
are you? <laughs> I'm not sure you want to know. Okay, you can stop it. I'm not sure you want to know. It does? Let me tell you <laughs> Say it up now. Say it up. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Wow. Wow. Kudos, kudos for you. Another one. Um. What's that? <laughs>
sisters in the Lord. I thank God that you are here. All of us have one problem or the other that has been troubling us. Some of us have been mocked. Some have been humiliated. And each time we want to present this case before God, the devil appears before God to accuse us. If you go to the book of Revelation 12, verse 10, the Bible says that he accuses us day and night before our God. But we have focused on the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. If you follow me to the book of Job 1, verse 6, the Bible says that at a time, the sons of God gathered to present themselves before God. Devil came. He was there. Yes. And God turned to him and said, Oh, devil, you are here. Tell me what have you been doing? Satan replied, God, I have been walking up and down. I have been wandering from here to there to tell you that the enemy doesn't rest. Turn to your neighbor and tell him that the enemy doesn't rest. The enemy doesn't rest. Tell him that the enemy doesn't rest. The enemy doesn't rest. Yes. No wonder the Bible says that he runs. He moves like a wounded lion, seeking for who to devour, seeking for who to kill and to steal. Another verse in the Bible says that surely they must gather, but because they are not from us, they must be scattered. Amen. Another verse yeah. says that we should suffer not a witch to live. So we have to pray. Anywhere they have gathered, anyhow they have gathered. Let them catch fire in the mountain. Yeah. Open your mouth to pray. Don't close your mouth. In close mouth is dead. 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 Open your mouth to pray. Anywhere they have gathered. Anyhow they have gathered. Let's get that to be their person. Anywhere they have gathered. Anywhere they have gathered. Anywhere they have gathered. Let them be some being that is. Let them be scattered. Let them be scattered. Let them be scattered. In the mountain of Jesus. Let them be scattered. In the mountain of Jesus. Let them be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be confusion in them. Let there be confusion in them. Let them be dropped. Let them be dropped. Let them be dropped. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit start this matter. Let the fire of God start this matter. Let the fire of God start this matter. Let the fire of God start this matter. Let them have that. Let them get on that. Open your mouth to pray. Pray, 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 pray. Don't close your mouth. Don't close your mouth. Where that Christy has started going to all these spiritual churches. Eh? Who told you this? Suzanne, no, Suzanne, my friend. Suzanne says she saw Christy when she visited her brother in the city with a very big Bible. Hey! One church like that. She has she has finally planned to return my brother. 
Caroline is finished. You must not allow that to run. Hey! How can someone allow this in this house? Eh? Are you sure it's not Ambrose that initiated this uh, uh, new church of uh, them? Mama, is someone blind? Can't he use his eyes and see that even Ambrose and his wife, of how many years? Since they started going to that their church, yet they have no child. Eh? Mama, you have to go and check if what my friend told me is true or not. Before she finally dragged him to that their white coming church. Is white coming church not better than all those warehouse uh, 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 churches? Warehouse churches are the places that we tell them that uh, it is your mother that is uh, bewitching your wife. Mama. Huh? Hey! Shut up. What do you know? I know them. I know them very well. They are the ones that we say it. They don't worry. You know me now. Hey, I, I, I can't sit down and allow this happen. I know you. I trust you now. Hey, Mba. Mama Mo. I trust you. Hey. My mother has what to do with my brother's wife. You're sure you saw her going to those rubbish churches? Huh? You think I don't know what I'm saying? Your brother Samuel and my brother Nina Mudu, they live in the same streets. Listen, or oh, have you forgotten? This last month I went to visit and I told you about it. I saw your brother Samuel in the same street. So she has joined those fake prophetic churches. Those ones that can destroy a home, eh? Mentioned this. I never mentioned those pictures. I never said so. What did you tell me? What did, what did you tell me? I told you that I saw your brother's wife going to a pure believer's church. This is what I told you, Mom. Mm. Why would she leave her family church and be going to another one? You do it. You do it. Mm. What did you tell your mother? I didn't tell her anything. I only told her exactly what she told me. Hey! Mm. See you, my hands are clean. No. I didn't mention of any prophetic churches. Hmm. Oh. Oga has gone to the office and Madame has gone to church. Hey! Madame has gone to church. Hey, so this is true. Hmm? It is true that this woman is always in the church. Yes, in the church. Every day by day is church. Church. What? Is it not good she goes to church now? Or is it bad to serve God? Not bad for the church. Stop up! That means everywhere is locked. Yeah, it is locked. I don't have access to my son's house, eh? Eh? Hey! This woman is useless. Very useless. But Mama, please, did you tell them before you are coming? You're an idiot. <laughs> A very good idiot. Thank you, ma. So what you are telling me is that I should take permission from them before coming to my son's house. Mm -mm. Is that what you are trying to tell me? I can sense that there's madness in your, in your blood. No, Mama, I'm not mad. I'm, I'm okay. Very, very okay. No, you are mad. I'm okay. You are mad. I see it in your eyes. Look at it. Don't worry. We wait for her. Let her go and come back. Where is that chair they used to be here? Eh? Mama, you Give can't the voucher before you. And we wait. Don't worry. We wait. Let's go and come back. 
You mean your mother has gone to the city, to your brother's place, for real? Yes, she went. Any problem? What did you tell her? Eh? Look, I'm not in the habit of calling a gossip. I am not in it at all. It's not in my blood. How would your mother want to stop that woman simply because she was going to church to look for a favor? What favor? Favor of God. What favor? Why would she leave the church that she was married into, our family church, and be going to another one? See, let me tell you, it will not work in our family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Juliet. Juliet. Hmm. Juliet. I went to your house. Your father said you want that. Why have you been avoiding me? Meaning what? What do you mean? Eh? Yeah. Since you came back from Lagos and told me that you are giving your life to Christ. And secondly, I don't like your little behavior. Mm -hmm. Just to avoid you. Ah. But I gave my life to Christ. And um, was calling my friend to do the same. Is it wrong? It's not wrong, but it's not by force. Did I force you? Uh, it is So I don't like those your church behavior. I don't like it. In fact, in fact, stop coming to my house. Stop coming to my house. That you were born again. Let it be in your father's house. Mm -hmm. Did you hear me? Yes. Are you aware that Jesus is coming very soon? No. And if you are still living in sin, you will go to hell fire. Who is living in sin? You are. Who is living in the city, Ask her. As soon as I came in, the Holy Spirit ministered to me that you are a problem to your brother's wife. You and your mother haven't given her simple rest. Especially you, Juliet. Look. Yes, you. Tinaza. Hmm? Tinaza. Hmm? Don't practice that your fake repentance with mm. you. Don't. Please. Holy Spirit this. Holy Spirit that. Holy Spirit did it. Susan, are you still here? I'm, I'm coming with you. This for me. Not even aware you're coming today. If I knew, would have dropped the key. Yes, please. Hey! Don't stop! Don't, don't touch my bag! And he had dropped the key. Just look at how you are painting words. Huh? So what I had is true. 
Mbo, Ekrisi. So what I heard is true. You have been going to all these uh, 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 Pakistan churches. You are now going to places that will give you one stupid prophecy or the other. Eh? It will never happen. It can never happen, not when Karo is still alive. You did not give me a grandchild. Now you have planned another way to ruin the life of my son. Is that not true? Ah, it will not happen, no. Not when I am still alive. Christina, not when I am still alive. It won't happen. Mama, please calm down. I am ah! not going to any park and store church like you said. I am not even going there for prophecies. Mm. I'm going there to trust God for a child like you've always wanted. <laughs> mm. Please, mama. It's okay. Let's go. Cut! Chris, Chris, mind yourself. Oh. I'm not getting into this house until my son, my son comes back. I'm not going into this house until my son comes back. Don't touch my bag. I will stay here with my son. Has it been long, Mama King? Yes, madam. She came as soon as you left the house. Ah. Mama, please, go inside. Mama, please, I'm very, very sorry I kept you waiting. Please forgive me. Please, Mama, I'm really, I'm really sorry. Please. Please forgive me. Let's go inside. I don't like the way you were sitting. Chrissy! Chrissy! Hey, Chrissy! 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 Uh, I'm losing it all. I am losing it all. Hey, Chrissy! Hmm. I'm trying to hold my hand though. Hey. You used to love me. Show me. Look at that. Nonsense. I will stay here until my son comes back. He will be missing you. Look at him. Idiot. I told you that madness is running in your blood. But you will not agree. You will not even understand it. Until you get into the street. Nonsense. This is not my plans. This is not my wish. But I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I turn up and Mama. Mama, please, I'm very sorry. Mama, please, I'm very, very sorry. I didn't know you were coming today. Please, I'm sorry I kept you waiting. Please, please. <coughs> Mama. Please let's go inside. Please don't be angry. Please forgive me, Mama. Please let's go inside. Look, Mama, let me get you water. Do you want to drink water? I have food. I can bring your food outside if you want to. I do you want fruits. I can get you fruits or juice, anything. Just. <laughs> Mama, please, Mama, please, let's go inside. Please, Mama, I'm really, really sorry. Please.
คมครับThe gate man told me that uh, you and your wife went out. He said that your wife went to church. She didn't come back on time. When she eventually came, uh, she didn't even care that I'm, I, I'm here. She just abandoned me and walked into wait, the house. Wait, 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 wait. Are you trying to tell me that my wife came back and saw you lying down on the floor and she didn't ask you to come in? She only came back with her Bible and said that uh, she went for prayers. When I was trying to ask her the kind of prayer uh, she went for, she just abandoned me and walked into the house. Wait, 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 where is my wife? Sasha, oh, that is, she's inside, inside, inside. What is good? What is good? But, uh, Sam, uh, 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 is it true that you and your wife have been going to all these warehouse churches uh, for prayers? Is it true? Mama, is that what you came to ask me? If it is why I came, what about that? Huh? Is it a sin? Is it a bad question? I, I, I only ask you a question that needs a simple answer. I'm your mother. If you wander off, it is my duty to draw you back. Mama, it's okay. It's okay. Let's go in first. Later we'll discuss that. Okay? Let's go. Hey, you. Carry this back. It is not my wish. Oh, Papa. My heart is broken. I'm not lying about anything. I'm not. You can confirm from the gate, man. Mama came back and I asked her to come inside. I begged her several times. Mama refused. I don't even want to talk about everything she said to me outside. That one is by the way. Oh, Mama, please. Mama, why do you hate me so much? What have I done to you, Mama? Am I God? Or am I supposed to put a baby inside my tummy, Mama? Any little thing you will bring up this issue of childlessness. Why are you always using it against me? How can you put a baby inside your womb when you are barren? <laughs> Who knows how many abortions you must have done before my son married you? Who knows? Look, leave my son alone. Leave him alone. Stop deceiving him with your, 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 your church. It will not work. See, if you think you are too heavy to get out of this house, I will use stone in that. I will use stone in that to throw you out of this house. I'm telling you nothing about the truth. Honey, honey, did you hear your mom? Did you hear what she said? You heard everything. What I won't have is her insulting me in my own house. I won't take that from her. Eh? If I insult you, what will happen? No, tell me what will happen if I insult you. If I insult you, so what? What does women like you do when they are being insulted in their husband's house? <laughs> Answer me! Eh? <laughs> Tell me! Nonsense! Look! You dare not... Dare <laughs> <laughs> you come back at me when I'm... What is it? You slapped my wife? You are useless. Don't talk back on me when I am talking. Oh, stop it! <laughs> Throw this, this thing out of this house! 
and be free from her loss. She is able. Look, look at her eyes. Look, can't you see? Can't you sense it? She's evil. She will finish you. She will. Come by her. Let her go. Mama. 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 There are things you must consider as a woman. And that makes you a woman of virtue. If you remember the very last topic choose by our pastor last week about the women that are calm, about the women that understand the word of God, he, he explained more in the life of Esther. So please, my dear, forget what happened with your mother-in-law and look up to him. Listen. My mother-in-law slapped me in the presence of her son. She called me barren just because I am yet to conceive. And here you are telling me to forgive her. Have you forgotten that Hannah was called names? Even Sarah was called a barren woman. God finally surprised him. That is why I'm telling you to so look unto God. I have never seen who has faith in him and was finally disappointed. His word is his bond. So please, my dear. Okay. I will forgive her. No problem. Mm. Not that I can't stop her from coming to the house. But what would people say? Hmm? And how is she going to twist the whole story? Hey, I am glad that you didn't react after this life. What if you have reacted? You know what will happen. I go up every day. Big couples with our children, and they are living happily. It is so stupid of me to her, listening to her all this while. I'm sorry. Please forgive me and wait. I never fail. Hmm? It's okay. Um, I've forgotten about that. After all, your mother is like my mother too. Please, can I ask you for a favor? Go ahead and ask. Could you please stop her from coming to the house? At least for now. Who? Mm -hmm. Yet no sign. 
I have told you to forget about all those churches. Forget them with their abracadabra. We know them. I was with Lizzie two days ago and she told me all you've been passing through in your matrimonial home, especially from that your mother-in-law. How can she lay her filthy hands on you? How? save the situation. taking care of them or do something else there are so many ways there are so many things one can do and you ask me what do you do let me ask you all the women you've been going to that prayers with how many of them has come up with their testimonies answer me how many look Christy that church will not save you that church will not save you at all. You have to show your mother-in-law that you are also a woman. Or do you want to be a barren woman like she said? <laughs> then, you have to think. You have to make use of your brain. Think. Think. Think and act. I've told you. You won't listen. Look, that church will not save you. All those women that have been attending the prayers with you, how many have come with a real testimony? A stitching time saves time. You have to prove to that woman that you are a woman too. Do you really want to be a barren woman as she said? Juliet. Juliet. Yeah? Juliet, how are you? Is it because I am in your house? I hope you're not here to preach to me. Because I am very, very busy inside. That thing you are doing, is it better than the word of God? Although I'm not here to preach for you, but I'm here to invite you to our program. Come and experience the touch of Master Jesus. 
Come with your problem and my God will be at the point of your need. Please, let me give you this for investigation. Which one is your church yet? The church does not matter, but your soul and your salvation, that matters. Besides, there is the address written there. Thank you, Amen. I'll go and come. Please you come. Go. You can go. God bless you. Greetings to you. You are welcome. Thank you, Jesus. Sit down. Yes. Grab your food. Sit. Ah, Shanga. Anga! My daughter, you have come to the final bus stop. We are blessed. You have a problem. You have a problem of having your own child. But don't worry. Ashanka will give you babies. The spirit of Ashanka will give you babies of your choice. What type of babies? Say him what he wants. Baby boy. A baby boy. Yes. <laughs> Even if you want twins, a shanka will give them to you. The choice is yours to make. Speak! Make your choice. A shanka is listening. Make your
Have you made their choice? Yes, Holy Papa. What choice did you make? Twins. A boy and a girl. <laughs> a boy and a girl. You don't have to. Ashanka will give them to you. Yes. Nine months from today, you shall carry a baby. In your face, the boy and the girl. Okay. <laughs> but you must drink the water of Ashanka. The water will make your tummy to come out so that people will see. Come with me, great daughter of Ashanka, to drink the water. Come. is very sick since the last week. I only came to seek the face of the Lord. <laughs> I want to tell you that the Lord has answered your prayer. Oh, stop crying, okay? I want to see the pastor so he can pray for her. <laughs> it's okay. But my faith is telling me that your daughter is healed. Amen. Let's go and see the pastor. So, you're trying to tell me that this thing will work. Christy, you've been asking me this same question since. Huh? How long have you known me? Right from our school days, have you ever seen me take the wrong route? Relax! Relax and expect your twin babies. Huh? <laughs> Do not doubt the power of Ashanka. Okay? Trust me. <laughs> Just go on. And enjoy. No, just relax. Nine months. <laughs> Gee, wait. All right, there. Take care. Okay. 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 Let me be going. All right. See ya. My heart is broken. Pastor was asking of you. Listen, yesterday was very, very hectic for me. Are you serious? Yes. And that was why I forgot to call you to tell you that I want to make it. How was it? Since? It was great. Mm -hmm. It was great. Mm -hmm. That yesterday, I felt a touch. Like, seriously. And my eye problem vanished. Mm. Serious. Even when I got home, 
I read my Bible and other books. It wasn't as you dream. Just like that. Who knows if you might have felt the same touch yesterday? Mm -hmm. Serious. So just yesterday, just yesterday, you received the miracle. Exactly. And your eye problem vanished. Wow. If I may ask, why didn't you receive this miracle? That's why. You know God now. He has his own way of doing his own thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. The appointed time. Yes. The appointed time. Yes. You know what's easy? What? No need beating about the bush. Hmm? I am tired. I am no longer interested in attending your church. Uh, hmm. Christy, hmm? you can't be tired of following Christ. You can't be tired at all. Don't tell me you are tired. Do you know that His presence in the midst of His people hmm. is always filled with blessing? Mm -hmm. huh? You can't be tired. And God always blesses those that follow Him. This is an assurance from Him. And you are here telling me that you are tired. Don't tell me that you are tired again. I am tired. You can't be tired. I am. Oh. Come on. Suddenly you felt a touch. Somebody pushed you. And you were out of your mind. Exactly. Exactly. Congratulations. Yeah. Exactly. This is not my wish. But I don't know. Shanta promised you. <laughs> Open your legs.
I'm vibrant. What is my problem? Oh, Jesus. What is my problem? You stay here. If this is like making my dad's blood is coming out, I will take this place there. Because boom, it's better than stay through. Because of my selflessness, I can see a
Only Papa. Only Papa. I said sit. Only Papa. My friend here came complaining to me that you have been appearing to her in her matrimonial home, demanding to sleep with her. I want to know if it is true or not. When have you started to ask Ashanka how it happens? I am not asking Ashanka how it happens. I want to know if what my friend told me is true. What a time! For the fact that your regular caller is the temple of Ashanka. I was going to give you right to say anything. She drank water of commitment and she must. Else! She asked with a shanka for a favor. That favor is flying in the air. And if in the next two market days she did not succumb to break a shanka. I am sorry to be too late. Too late! Instead of sleeping with Ashanka, what else can she do? Because I don't want my friend to sleep with Ashanka. What? What?
What is it? Huh? What? Naza, thank you very much for inviting us to that church program. I learnt a lot. I learnt a lot. I must tell you, the message is really affected my life. Thank you, children. Amen, amen, oh, amen, amen, my sister. I am shocked. I don't know what is wrong with my wife. She's. She's behaving like someone that is raving mad. In the middle of the night, she woke up and started shouting. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me. Leave me. I could not hide it anymore. I'm serious. You see, I, I, I am this kind of person that I, I, I don't believe in this thing they call banking. I don't. Or the other one they call water spirits. I sincerely, I don't believe in all of this. For Christy to be behaving like this, then something different is wrong. Yes! Do you have a possible future? I'm just gonna place the place. Someone, I was even thinking, I was wondering if you were the one that stopped her from attending. Me? Sammy Yoyo. Me. I'm just hearing it now. What might be wrong with her? I don't know, Mama. I don't know. Maybe I'll visit them to find out exactly what the problem is. Are you aware of what is happening? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh. 
understand that them are acting like this. Eh? I think something is wrong somewhere. Eh? It will always run out as long as I travel. Are you going inside? Be, be careful, bro. You see? If anything is happening here, please just tell me. Let me find my way. If I can run, I can, I can jump this space. If I can't jump this space, I will, I will sneak out. I know that there must be a road here. Like tomorrow, my father will ask me, how do you come back? Do you fly or, 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 or you disappear? All right. Yeah? Do you that? So everything is okay. There's nobody there. Come, let's go inside, eh? Let's stop scaring us. Madam, there is nothing inside there. You can see. She, she, she went hey. inside. Take her inside now. What is that? Just. Madam, please go inside now. Every day you 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 die. Eh, hello, brother. I'm in your house now, and things don't seem to be right. I don't know what is wrong with your wife. Eh? She's outside here screaming. Yes. yes. Where are you? Please come. Please come. Hurry up, please. Hope is my guy, you are calling. Tell him to come with all the soldiers. The police, oh, even pass, they should come with Amon Khan. Amon Khan, because what is happening here, eh? In fact, tell him that every evil civil defense, no safe to serve, because I need safety here now. I don't so have they should come. Yes. Please, let's go inside. Please, 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 go inside now. Eh? Help me. I'm helping you now. This is not my plan. This is not I have been asking her what the problem is. But she's not saying anything and she's not talking to me. I think a strange being she's been saying. Okay, hold on, let me call on the ghost. All I see is that he needs serious deliverance. Serious one, serious deliverance. Let me stay with Colombo. This guy won't be. Never see your Yeah. <laughs> 
you have never bothered to check on her or to know how she's coping with her faith. Oh, sister, you are wrong now. Hear me now, though. Pack your things and leave this body in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Darkness and light have nothing in common. Pack your things and leave this body in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover you with the fire of the Holy Spirit. I cover you with the fire of the Holy Spirit. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Look at me. Look at me. Open your mouth. Anything inside you that is not of God, this minute, I command you to come out in the mighty name of God. I command you to come out in the mighty name of God. I command you to come out in the mighty name of God. Lose now the mighty name of Jesus. Lose now the mighty name of Jesus. Lose now the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you because I have done this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you because I have done this. Thank you, Jesus. 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 to drink with the promise that I will get pregnant but after some days this same man started appearing disturbing me telling me to open my legs he was demanding for sex but I refused I went back to Chiwi to tell her everything I've been going through. So, the next day we went back to see the Holy Papa. That's what we call him. He was angry. He killed Ching with that same day. Yes. According to him, Ching will challenge his authority. I feel so ashamed telling this story. I'm so embarrassed. Please, I'm very sorry. Please, please forgive me. Sister, it was my mother-in-law that pushed me into this. My mother-in-law caused all this. Please, please forgive me. I'm really sorry. Sister Chrissy, 
You have no excuse whatsoever for what you have done. You only challenged God and you have seen the result. Look at gift. Gift is pregnant. She prayed and waited patiently for God and God answered her. Women of these days don't have patience with God. Even the so-called Christian women. They forget the promises of God in the Bible. Look at the women in the church that are looking for the fruits of the womb. Are all pregnant? Why some have even given birth? Like the Hebrew women. Listen, Chrissy. No mother-in-law. No father-in-law. Nobody will push you to eat and dine with the devil. Are you listening to me? You have to hold Christ. Be born again. Obey the commandment of God and all his good promises will locate you. Are you listening to me? What you have to do now, you and your husband must pray and fast for one month. Ask God to forgive you. Pray to him. Ask him to bless you as he has blessed other women. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, please, let's be on our feet as we talk to God. My help are There is something that makes me come into your presence, my helper, my helper, oh, my helper, my helper, oh, my helper. There is something that makes me come into your presence, my helper. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, you said in your word that if the people who are called by your name, if they can humble themselves and pray, that you will hear from heaven and heal our land. Amen. Father, you said in Psalm 1 to 8 verse 3, that our children will be like olive trees round about our table. Amen. Father, we thank you because we know that this will be our portion in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Father, you blessed Sarah and gave her Isaac. You blessed Hannah and gave her Samuel. Father, Father, come and bless your daughter. Come and bless your daughter. Amen. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you for this revelation. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Chrissy, as I was praying, I saw you carrying a bouncing baby girl. Praise wow. the Lord! Absolutely. They don't want to open Thank you your But one thing you must do, you and your husband, is that you have to surrender your life to Christ. Make him your Lord and personal Savior. So that this prophecy will come to fulfillment in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. My helper, oh, my helper, my helper, oh, my helper. There is something that makes me come into your presence. My helper, my helper, oh, my helper, my helper, oh. To walk into the devil's day. And she would almost come if not for the grace of God. Where is the Christianity you claim? You condemn uh, uh, paganism. You say that I sit down at home and drink my wine, that I do not go to church. Very why? That was talked about in the Bible. That I will go to hell. Eh? But you do not give God time 
to work in his own way. Yes, everything is. Yeah. Are you yeah. done? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The truth is that I don't have time for you this night. I don't have strength to do. That I'm a Christian does not <coughs> stop me from having grandchildren. I'm a Christian does not permit me to fold my hands and watch my daughter-in-law, who has not given birth for five good years. To watch her like that. I have to react. I did exactly what I'm supposed to do. You are not reacting fine. How many children did you provide for me? Or did I tell you that I do not have more? But you were not able to conceive more. It took you eight good years to give birth to someone. Huh? And you are here pressurizing uh, Christus. Huh? As if you came in here, you were pouring out children. Huh? Hi! Is it because that I have been keeping quiet? Papa, it's okay. It's okay, please. We all have learned our blessings. It's okay, please. Uh, if you have learned your that's uh, it's good. But uh, your mother has it. Uh, no, she has it. And you people should be careful. Very, very careful in this house. She made a mistake. A very big mistake. Nothing good comes out of them. Thank God this was revealed and she was delivered. What if the old man has left with her? My God, does it really happen in real life? I thought I only see them on movies. That a woman out of desperation can do anything to have a child. What My is real? It's really an eye opener to all of us here, especially me. Yeah. My father has started blaming me and my mother for the cause. What is right? Sister Christina, I got a revelation that you still keep that demonic ring you received from that evil man. Oh my God. Is it true? Pastor, I haven't seen that ring a very long time now. Because I thought that the evil man collected it you know, through some magical means. No. Look for it. And when you find it, you set it ablaze once. This must be done outside your home. Okay. Do not inhale from this nook. Once this is done, the evil power has been rendered useless. Mm -hmm. The earlier the better. Well, I will, Pastor. As soon as I get to the house, that is the first thing I will do. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll be on my way yeah. now. My regards to your family. Bye. Bye bye. I told you to call my son's wife. You refused. This seems this house will not contain two of us. This has gone to a total disobedience to me. Papa, I called her, but I think she wants to come after observing the prayer and fasting and the fast of this day. Prayer and fasting? Which prayer and fasting? Enough of this church issue. It is true that uh, God gives children, but we should not uh, throw that. Papa, why are you sounding somehow this night? How, how do you mean? You said it should be very fast. Yes, I said it. Uh, it is not true prayer fasting. 
that children come. Our fathers do not know fasting. Yet they had us and we survived. Go and call her. Call her and tell her that I want to see her before next week. Your father didn't return and met a like this. I want to see my friend Suzanne. We are planning for a convention in you know? I don't have a problem about that. But I'm sure your father will not permit you. He, be, he, he better do, or he better do. That he doesn't go to church is not me. That is his business. Because I must go. This convention is going to be so great. With anointed men of God in attendance on you. No problem. When your friend comes back, you tell me. So, this convention is the reason you left every day. Mama, 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 please. please be careful, no. Don't start again. You, what did you bring for me? Why would your father refuse you from attending the Christian fellowship? That's why I love my father. He only supports us to do the things of God, in as much as he's not a Christian. So what what are we going to do? What what do we do now? My brother's wife is coming to see me. Maybe I will tell her to talk to him. I think she can. She will. She's not my friend. I don't want to be friends. Tell her. Yeah, don't worry about it. When you're done with what you're doing, you can go. Okay? Since I really need to go, I don't want anything that will make her bad. Juliet already said that he's not happy. He's not going to be happy. He will not. Yeah. He is just calling to know what happened. Juliet must have told them. I just want to know if you're fine. I don't even know if I'm the one marrying you or my family. Mm. Since this has happened, he has not called for women to know what happened. All his concern is to know about you. He's just, even, he's just angry because he has not set his eye on me. Yeah? Hmm. This thing is, this is, this is, this is not ordinary. It's not ordinary, please. <laughs> ordinary. Please, honey, I really need to go. And you know that since I got married to you, Papa has been the only person that has been protecting me. Huh? Mm -hmm. So I'm not protecting you before. Please. Don't start, honey. I don't want us to argue this morning. I never said that you never protected me. Yeah. You started. I never said. <laughs> I didn't say that. Yeah. You started, please. I don't want us to yeah. argue. I'm not ready for arguments this morning. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know how to twist words. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Small thing, little thing. You just turn it upside down. Yeah, because I was both twisted.
how are you? Fine. <laughs> so you're finally here. My dear. Hmm. What is it? <laughs> how are you? No chance, no chance, no chance at all. It's one after the other. But I'm here finally. Hmm? Uh -huh, Juliet. So you told Papa and Mama everything that happened. Hmm? Juliet, you didn't tell me that you turned to fresh man of Radio Sapiencia. Eh? And, and, uh -uh. Even if I didn't tell them, they would still find out. Mm. But I just told them a little. A little. You just told them a little. I'm not denying it. I'm not denying it. <laughs> <laughs> so Thank you. What of Papa? He was alone. I don't know where he had gone. Or he's coming back. It is unfortunate that you went too far because of the pressure mounted on you about not conceiving. But you never bothered to tell an old man like me so that I can advise you. What if that step had taken you alive? Papa, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I promise you it won't happen again. I've learned my lessons. It's alright. Sit down. Sit down. Mm. Mm. That's why I sent for you. Since you went too far in search of the fruit of the womb and you brought you harm, I will advise you to stop all those Fasting and the one you people nickname a night vigil. Hmm. Huh? Take care of yourself. Relax. It is only God in heaven that knows everything. He alone gives children. So relax. Hmm. Uh, wait for me. Huh? A minute. I will be with you. But I will tell him. Hmm? We only discussed about my own issue. So don't worry. Okay. What did you do? Um, it hasn't been long he left. He said it's coming back. Okay. I'll be inside. No problem. Oh dear, I will soon be back. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. This medicine, I got it from the oldest man in this our community. He has been giving roots and half to barren women, a women that uh, uh, that uh, finding it difficult to conceive. He has helped a lot of people in this community. 
I want you to take it and let's see what happens. Papa, this is not necessary. Eh? I went to that evil temple because I didn't know Christ there. But now things are different. I'm trusting God for the fruits of the womb. So forget this. Don't, don't tell me about your faith. Uh, don't tell me about uh, your, about church. Uh, it is the same God who created this root and half with which this medicine is prepared created the window of women. Huh? So, uh, I'll take it and uh, let's see what happens. Papa, I don't need this. I don't need it. Huh? Why? The reason you want me to take this, is it? Because of my inability to conceive. Um, whatever you call it, hmm? I won't deceive you. I won't give you anything that will harm you. It is progress that I want. Yes. So take it. Let's see the progress is going to be. That's how have I messed this smell. Uh, it's not harmful. Mm. Okay. Papa, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Mm. One more thing. Mm -hmm. What is it? Juliet told me about a convention they are having in church. And I've not given her the permission to go. Hmm. Uh, uh, if she leaves, hunger will really deal with me. <laughs> How can an old man <laughs> like me be running to the kitchen? Uh, when you know that my wife is not always at home. Uh, oh, Juliet has been there helping me. So it's oh. about food, Papa. Ah, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, that is the reason every man asking God for the fruit of the womb. I see. I advise every man to get married, have their children, because at old age they will cry for it. So, Papa, what will happen if children get married? Mm -hmm. Uh, I will bless her. I want every woman, every young girl to get married and their children. If she gets married, uh, and I know she will soon get married. Hmm? But now, for now, she is helping me. Uh -huh. <laughs> please, 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 please. Just three days and she will be back. You know what? I'll always bring food for you. Mm. Okay, okay. If he says so, mm -hmm. if he says so. But before she goes, they had to prepare some food Ooh, for, for me. You. Keep for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know I don't joke with food. <laughs> no problem, Papa. Uh, I will tell her. Oh yeah. I'll do that. Thank you so much, Papa. Uh, for this, mm. for listening to me, for the advice, mm. thank you so much. Mm. I appreciate. Mm. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm sure you overheard everything Papa said. Mm? So please make sure you prepare enough food for him, mm? so that any time he is hungry, he can always warm it and eat. Mm? Um, I will also be bringing food for him until the time you return. Thank you very much. 
Thank you very much. I should be on my way now. Auntie, make sure you take this and send to so yes, Gabriel. You can say, okay? No problem. I'm a senior.
Yeah, 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 yeah